Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cast Redux. I'm your host, Mr. People's Stardom of Trans Miller, but we gotta talk about Shikmatov invited to the Vice of Oz. Peter Shurinsky uh, Shikmatov, one of the heads of the Everatitsi, after his faction success in the conference, has been formally invited. With it, the Mladorossi Everatitsi alliance should be formed, securing dominance in the Far Eastern political scene. All right, the Cast back, Harata Shikmatov, the Union of Mladorossi and the Russian Civil War. Quotation for the party newspaper, it was a conflict started by the Germans that defile Holy Russia with their insidious Germanism. With both sides playing into their plans, in reality they should have worked together to defeat the German aggressors once and for all. When Mother Rossi comes from Berlin, we will make sure there are no Germans left to contest Russian dominance. End of quotation. And we're doing equipment breakthrough right now, as we're led by Cordell the First. The game is lagging super, super hard, but what else is new? The, though I, think I read this last time, recently we successfully developed a brand new firearm for our soldiers. Although they are currently just prototypes, we can invest some money to producing them in proper uh, numbers. But, uh, wait, did they just go to war somebody? Uh, Chilean Argentinian War. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Because we now have the Russian state up here. Savinkov versus Mladorosi, which is. Oh boy. That's all I can say. Eurasian block. Not bad. Um, We're going to definitely struggle here a little bit, but we have a visit from our masters, huh? We're going to cut ties with Japan. We get more stability for the fire, but, you know, that's nice and all. You know, they did break their non aggression pact with us, which does worry me just a little bit. But what you going to do about it? But, as some of the comps included. I think the Eurasianist option is only available if Russia is our socialist government or our friendly government with them, or their leader of Russia, Savinkov, can make cooperation with them. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, someone says, who must go? Someone else says, Russian Empire. Someone says, uh, maybe we can use uh, comms commands to get that national focus, which I did. So if you want to do that again, please go ahead. But we'll do the Eurasian Brotherhood, which sounds like a good idea. One of Everetsky's main ideas is that all peoples of Eurasia, uh, of Europe and Asia, must come together as one, and with their influence in the government, we shall seek to create a brotherhood between all citizens of Eurasia. Special brother between the Japanese and the Russians who for too long have stood divided. non core manpower, the attack on t core territory, the damage to goes down, what's not to love? And we'll go with Kosar's for now too. Of course, all the following. Russian ascendancy, eh? Uh, traditional proletariat values, orthodox integralism. A legitimacy will increase, which is also very good too. But it is 37. Oh, uh, we did that already, which is nice. Um, tanks would be nice and all, but whatever. Logistics, probably we want to throw that on our divisions eventually too. Pro Imperial Propaganda, which is not bad. Hold massive parties. No, thank you. Support anti Japanese rally. To the Belgrade. Join the Prosperity Sphere. Visit from our masters. We'll cancel if we cut our ties with Japan. How do we get cancel ties with Japan? Support an anti Japanese rally. Is that all we have to do? So if I control. Um, we can do that. Skip that one out. Um, here's your Brotherhood. That was this. National Nazi took over. Oh, National Populism, huh? No, we're good. We like the way we are. Red Triumphant, that's ah, okay. Or Red Tsar Triumphant, I should really say. The lessons of the Kolchak Puch. Since Kolchak Puch, we have had some border conflict with Russia, but we kept the Far East, and now we know the weak spots. Which is a good thing, too. Chance of war will increase, which is fine with us. Um, even though we will need to go through all this stuff, too. Northern Expansion, which I remember I read last time, too. And then Drill the Troops, which would be pretty good, too, as well. Buff Industrializing Russia, huh? Cool. Let them kill each other, man. That's what I always say about our enemies. Let them kill each other. So, I'll uh, get this one done. I'll get a couple more of them done. And we have a little bit of manpower like that. Do we actually get. Is it from a support anti Japanese rally? We could try it. See if that does anything. Um, they might go to war with us eventually, but you know. We, don't want to, we do want to denounce a false government. Okay, maybe, but. Denounce a false Tsar. Haiti's killing the Dominican Republic. We have lessons of the Kolchak Pooch. Uh, and we definitely don't. This one next, too. You know, red politics will indicate progress and destruction of traditionalism. We have it no better than the destruction of the old. Let's not just maintain the old structure of power, but expand the nobility and merit of the noble families. Just not just from Transmere, but soon in all of Russia. Yeah. What do you have here? Sure, why not? Defense and organization sound pretty good to us. Right? Right. But eventually, we will need to find those front lines here, too. Ah, fighting the line one of Siberia. There can be only one legitimate Russia, of course. <clears throat> uh... Since all diplomatic attempts to refine the Far East with the rest of the country are unsuccessful, both sides are preparing for the full offensive in Siberia. Fighting Siberia is hard, of course. And it's in our best interest to make the conflict end as soon as possible. We have a chance to end it before it even starts. Conduct a border exercise. We, wow, weekly stability gain minus 30%. Weekly war support gain, wow. Training time goes down, chance of war will increase. What a speech about peaceful unification. Chance of war will decrease when aborted political power. Chance of war less than 85%. We could try that, maybe. As long as no one else wants to go to war with us. So we even do this. This should be all like. 
So this is all impassable terrain, which I do like. I do like that a lot. It makes it much easier, much more friendly to do. So this is not possible to go through there, but still. With that in mind, that gives us a better idea of where we can set up, you know, supply barriers and whatnot. What does it teach about unified configuration? Oh, we'll do that at least once. Oh, oh, maybe not. Oh. Well, I want to go to war with Russia, Germany first, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, Orthodox integralism. Now that we may be reds, we are smart enough to know that the Orthodox Church is immensely important in keeping power within the Church as a mouse if we were to have any sort of legitimacy to start them. So let's get the Church remains a vital part of our society, to the point where it's inseparable from the nation itself. This Orthodox integralism will ensure unity in our cause, both politically and religiously. These guys might be struggling a lot. I'm not sure. Any corruption raids? Further civilization, Okrana, revolution, divided military staff, backers industry. If these guys are in the fence and they end up doing well, we'll go to war with them too. But these guys aren't very good either. Central Asian democracy, it's interesting. Agrarian socialism. Okay, they don't have that many divisions, never mind. Never mind then. Let's do more air doctrine, why not? Better than land doctrine right now. Um, yeah, this one. Improved supply network. As the trans Railway expands more and more, it's useful when it becomes increasingly apparent. We even have the potential to create a nationwide railway system, supply system, to deliver goods all across the country. Nice. Get a motorized core. As our army becomes larger by the day, we need more transport for troops, and new trucks ought to be prove useful. What is this? Expand the Dalzavad facilities. We can use our Dalzavad factory to produce um, a limited number of series of our tanks. Tanks are invaluable in modern day warfare due to their durability and northern expansion. Our nation is exhausted fighting men, and our current drafting rate appears to be insufficient to populate our armed forces. If we enact construction by requirement, we'll have more troops to fight against our enemies and drill the troops. The strength of an effective army lies in our numbers, but as training, all train force will lead us to victory. I think I read this one beside them last time, too. It's been the Vladivostok dockyards. Vladivostok is the only way to connect, construct ships. We need even more dockyards if we want a proper fleet. The Russian forest is just a vast waste of snow and tundra, but in this harsh climate, we're going to open our new facilities and develop our industry. Prove the Nikolaevsky port. Port Nikolaevsk is, in, uh, Nikolaevsk is in poor condition due to the lack of use by some former owners. Redevelopment will enable a new naval base to be established. Party border. We're the party border, the party strength, and party unity. And we swear an oath to our, to our people. To maintain the integrity of our people through any means, including means that some more liberal and anarchist elements would deem authoritarian or even reactionary. Honestly, this is not too bad up here. Any radar would be kind of a waste, but whatever. Naval yeah, stuff. I think we're sure about that one. Not bad. How much do we get every day? 1.83, that's not bad. Soviet democracy. Too long have the workers been. Oppressed by the hand of the reactionaries, it's time to discard the old autocracy of trans emergence to do a new form of democracy run by the worker. However, there's still only one name on the ballot. Cult of the Vaz. Just as Lynn had full of followers, and just as there's a cult of personality formed around the Tsar, Cousin Becca too has gained a cult following. Attracting legions of loyal supporters who do anything at the Vaz commands. Now the loyal proletariat the side of the Maladrosi. All the enemies of the Tsar and the Vaz shall be taken down. And then we'll end up doing a revolution of the spirit. Revolution of the spirit. The time when ideology rules over us is gone. Kazanbeck's government has created a revolution more powerful than any material sect. It's created a revolution of the spirit that unites all with an unbreakable bond. The revolution. Oh, oh god no. Um, of putting integral nationalism above all else has triumphed. The trans will soon front all over the world. Instead of being divided by class, Russia will be united by nation. Ah. After 1938. Okay. Improved supply network. The question of the... KVZHD. Interesting. If we're using cavalry, I, I it's motorized or something. These guys would be good to use, but they're just not thick enough. They're just not that thick. So we do that and then replace it with actual cavalry. Actually, it's not as good. Huh. 8,000, but if we do normal cavalry, same cost, okay. You know what, we'll do that, because it's not great to use, but whatever. Go to Turkmenistan. Cool. Invade the Russian state, proclaim a rival government, declares a war on them. 90%, oh, 90% there, full-scale war. Okay, well, that's good to know. We'll probably want to de-escalate things just a little bit, you know, not too much. Don't want to re-escalate it. Air bases are nice, this stuff is all nice. Kolchak is dead. Oh, well, whatever. Social democracy, I guess. Um, but I guess subsidize the aviation sector. 
Air Force has been so far for many years. We were to bring it back up to scratch in order to compete with regional powers. We have to dedicate financial muscle Russia to Russia's ascendancy. Russia was a land that had lost its identity, its morals and spirit. A decaying corpse of a once great empire, a truly sad state for any patriot of the motherland. However, not all was lost. In Russia's darkest hour, there stood one man who would not go quietly in that good night. Alexander Kazimdak. Held within him a fiery passion that struck a light in the minds and souls of working patriots across the Russian lands. He rejected the spiraling crush brought upon by bickering factions of lifeless hordes eager to tear each other apart in the name of the power of greed. Kazimbek rallied those fellow bred nationals, and together they defeated their enemy them. Russia is ascended beyond its stagnant state, no longer the sick man of the globe. The heart of Russia is the heart of the Malagorosi. The movement has become Russia's new identity, and as Kazimbek's fearsome rhetoric grows ever more dominant over the minds of many, so does Russia. The future belongs to its comrades. From page to today's edition of the Young, Young Toward Young Russian newspaper. Let's see what the future holds for Kazimbek. The question of the KVZHD. Chinese Eastern Railway, of course. Now that Montetsu influence should belong to us, which basically means occupy most of northern Manchuria. Definitely be against Japanese interest in the region, but perhaps we'll be able to do this without much interference from Tokyo. Forget about it? Mm-mm. It's just P.S. and Feng Shan. Yeah, I'll see what we get. As we are now proclaiming a rival government, which will probably put us at war with the Russian state, but... Russia's now at war, of state of war now in a state of war. While they are visiting the West, we can pressure them in the East. Once we to purge them from our rightful lands. We'll see how well we do. They still like us, though. Well, if we... Uh, are we guaranteed anybody? Probably not. Uh, so, like, I'd reload the game, so we do that. Uh, Feng Shan government. Uh, for us, we... That part of Japan has military access, huh? Actual military access, non-aggression packs, and volunteers. Oh, they're at war with the Philippines. Oh, didn't realize that. Oh, well. Good for them. Got plenty of PP, though. Small ship manufacturer. Do we have any planes? No, we need to own... Oh, we need to be subject to Japan or control our goods. Well, we're trying. Uh, Paywall is Oprishniki. Oprishniki. Two political power day. Oh, my goodness. Resource-wise, honestly, we're fine where we're at right now. Invading Northern Manchuria. Our troops are ready to cross the border. Oh. Uh, Feng Shun government has refused our demands. They're not no choice but to intervene. There's too much risk. Charge. My troops have tons of dependency. Oh. Oh, man. I don't think I was ready for this. Um. I guess we're going in. The chance of war of us going to war with those other guys is pretty high, though, which I don't like. So give me a little bit more time, and we'll, uh, instead of saving, we'll, uh, I guess... Go invade Feng Shan. Well, we got a little lucky. The fifth Zili Feng Shun war just uh, popped off, and we're gonna go in. Hopefully. Oh wait, are we were with Japan. Oh crap. We well, that's not good. I didn't expect that one to. Um, honestly, with Kaiser Redux, I don't care if we have to use consequence or not. We're gonna do whatever we need to to make sure we win and do well. So, so these guys are the Shikan Clique, eh? The Dream Project, huh? Oh, well, I guess that canceled. That sucks that we didn't get that one done. I guess we have to be at peace, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you know, it sucks that it had, it had to cancel. But I'm kind of glad we did, so we have more time to build ourselves up, whatever. Um, we don't have to go to war immediately. I guess we'll do this one. Deep Derek falls ill. You race towards Arbin. You go, 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 go. Uh, you probably should stop training here. You're probably all going to get blown to smithereens, so go home. And go home. We're getting attacked, you know, whatever. Philippines, sure, guys, sure. We ought to go in immediately. Go, 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 go. Close them off. Why are you not going anywhere? Why are you not being aggressive? Especially cut off a whole division. Would be nice. Ah, what even division is it? That's a pretty bad one, huh? All right. Bruh, I know it sucks to fight through here, but like, bruh, let's get going. Come on, come on, cut him off. I gave you legs for a reason. There you go. That's what we want to see. Nice. Go, my cavalry, go! Let's go straight through if we can. Oh, we can actually win up at Hop In, too? Ah, they have militia. Nice. I love when they only have militia. Good! Oh, we actually got there, too, huh? Go in. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I can't wait to Hop In. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, too, but whatever. 
No, what the, what the barnacles? Get in there, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Actually, uh, raise urban militia in Vladivostok. Town is going to fight for a freedom, patriotic citizens in Vladivostok. Uh, forming with the militia groups to defend their homeland. With a little help from us, we can organize them into an auxiliary units and fill up the lines. We could. Holding Vladivostok and Japan. We have a little chance of fighting back against Japanese troops down to the, down to the ocean. Our only solution to survive the whole Vladivostok is sure enough to make sure the whole point of the war on sends the minds of Japanese people. As the Russian proverb says, elusive Joe is elusive because nobody wants to find him. We should become this Joe to the Japanese. We'd be hell if we were set. I suppose we can, I guess. We'll try it. See what it's like, you know, I don't know. Hey, there you go. Oh, I guess we have to cut them off through, fully through here, too. That sucks. Did they seriously just abandon it? Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go in. Thirty-eight, and... So forces are very special. They are very, very special. I guess anti-air too, I guess. I don't know. No, yeah, they're doing okay. Looks like we just couldn't move fast enough. Come on. Honestly, just leave them there. Vision suck, but they'll be fun for now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, god dang it. Come on. Get your butts in there. What are we paying you for? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? This is so stupid. I hate the war sometimes in Kaiser. Or just Kaiser Redux, or just you know the wars in general. And honestly, at this point, I'm, I, I don't care about how well the wars won. Like, I'm just going to cheat. If I have to use cheats and so be it, I, I, I really don't care. Kaiser Redux has pissed me off enough times that I, I don't even bother sometimes. Story heroism, the Japanese, I mean. Still have enough support. I guess I do. I guess we could do it if we really want to. The war economy as well. Set up the dads in the aviation sector. All right. Expansion. Oh, this one. We need some cities. Bro, come on. Just kill them off. And if it takes too long, I will use consequence. I just don't care anymore. I play this. I play Holy Four enough that I just don't care. Please, please, just destroy these god dang freaking divisions. Follow the Shidi Empire, huh? Please start losing all your territory over here. For the love of God, please lose it. Shimmer breakthrough, more Lego organization is nice. Bro, they should not be able to send divisions into here. Come on, man. Hmm, 39. Alright, get more coordination. Doesn't help us that much, but we'll still do it. Fine, so I'm gonna put that good head. Thank God. So we've lost 18,000 versus 26,000, which is good. 
But it's going to take us a little bit more time to take him out. Expand the forest industries. I've already read this several times, so we're going to see what's going to happen. The next. death of Kirill Vladimirovich. Tsar Kirill I of the people's Tsar of Russia and the defender of all the subjects has tragically passed away earlier this week after complications with old age. A safe funeral is held with thousands gathered to mourn the death of the leader before he was laid to rest quietly. Or quietly, with only one state official and his family allowed to attend. Vladimir Vladimir's already been declared as a new Tsar by the government. He's expected to take power later this week. Godspeed. So, Kodel, we are sorry you have to go, but Godspeed, my friends. Look at this guy, the people of Tsar, Vladimir III. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of names to him. As he deserves a lot of names to him. So, we're doing to expand the Vladivostok dockyards, of course. I would like to revive the trans Railway, but we can't quite get there. If you want to read this again, please go ahead. Get all tractor plants, improve the supply network. Uh, of course, they're being scientists, but, you know, on this one too. And drill the troops. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, Eastern Harbor. The Vladivostok was both a major port in the city and a city in the Russian Far East under the old Tsarist regime, but after the rest of the Japanese war, Vladivostok has lost some of its importance. After the Valkyrie and Kolchak's unsuccessful coup in 1925, the city underwent its resurgence again as a major trade port for the Japanese. As you see, we're trying to beat up the last little remnants here. Uh, I'm still holding our places fine, and you know what, for these guys, I'm going to say, just kind of hang out for the most part. Guard the ports, I guess. There you go, dead. Oh, oh, never mind. They invaded in the north. That's so stupid. Well, whatever. So I'm not really sure how this is supposed to end. Because we're, we're doing some very, very, very light rating, if anything. A sort of creation of the Shishidi Empire. I'm not sure how long just to hold this, so. Vladivostok Treaty. We should be able to get everything, but I'm not entirely sure. So we'll see in just a little bit, too. Vladivostok Treaty? The war between Japan and Trans Mirror seems to lose any reason it had before. Japanese ships are taking casualties from brave Russian defenders. We were able to conquer Vladivostok for so long time. The entire perspective of Chame and Transmir now may cost more than Transmir could probably give in return. Now, so he told Vladimir the third meeting named Vladivostok signed by peace. Treaty. And then also a still between the two countries. Seems like Japan has lost its only tool to press Russia. People of Transmir are celebrating this outstanding victory. I love Engine for Engine 5, which. <sighs> Bruh. I don't think this is uh, fully ready um, to be played. Mmm, so, hey, oh well, um, you know, I'm gonna leave these guys here, you know, you guys can be the defenders, if we can't change these guys up too, um, that's kind of stupid, I'm gonna, if I can, I'll take that too, but we'll see, um, we'll do that too, you guys get ready to invade Russia, because that seems like a waste of time, and I'm gonna use cons commands that fully annex these guys too, which doesn't make any sense why we, can, we don't, haven't annexed them, so, I think that's incredibly stupid, but, go west, uh, the more, uh, the more our power grows, the more ambitions do so too. Our goals are clear, we shall go west and liberate the whole of Russia. Or, uh, um, Siberia! Well, yeah. everyone, at yeah. this point, we just had to manually justify it. It's July 27th. The Russians went to war with the Red Mongolian nation. We're gonna go to war with them, too. We're gonna struggle. And the Siberian army's marching to the west. The Russians stayed in the far east. It's finally wrapped into the war with the Petrograd regime. First of all, to begin in the morning. Um, and now, again, the Russians are killing each other. Nevertheless, it's a long way for the Vladimir III to cross the continent and reach Moscow and Petrograd. Oh, tell we'll tell the victor. Fighting land and war in Asia. How about the war about the motherland? Says Alexander Kolchak. So let's see how well we do. If we do okay, we'll do fine. But if not, you know, whatever. I'll get, I guess those guys got trapped. But you know, I want us to do well. Hopefully, we do well. Uh, yeah, the Reds say yeah, yeah, because they don't like Boris Sevenkov. Because who does? Batave. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Oh, hello. Oh, huh, I put you there. Nice. Sure, guys. We'll send. Well, it's except for volunteers and seven seven things of support coming every month. Okay. Hey, this will help. Supply, better supply consumption? Oh, yes, please. Hopefully we do well. We don't have a ton of manpower, which sucks. We got plenty of political power, though. I like the political power. Keep them in their place for now. Um, I don't know how strong these guys are. That's not very strong. Uh, motorized Y, how strong are they? Yeah, decently. Uh, that's okay as well. It's kind of like us. Um, we don't know about you, though. Oh, well, we seem to be doing alright so far. Um, in the meantime, etc. was, um... The Japanese saw their thing. Visit from our masters. Which I don't understand why we still have that. We're going to go total war, uh, total mobilization if we can. And then do political actions. And can we put women in the workplace? No? Crap. We hope that wasted a lot of political power then. Because I don't want to do any more manpower. So I guess we went back down there. Okay, whatever. Here it goes. Here's by requirement too. We'll see. This is how the population bleeds in totalism though. That's always a good thing. Is it aircraft? Is it die breaks? Yeah, I like die breaks. I'm doing it seemingly, seemingly okay though. Seemingly okay for now. 
But it's gonna be a long way to get to uh, Moscow. Oh, it is in some territory, huh? But we've been doing some other uh, books as such. Improve Vladivostok Port Authority. Increasing the number of ships will make landfall and reports each, each week. And Vladivostok harbors become overloaded due to the endless waves of cargo ships. We'll expand the port in order to ease these issues. Destroyers of Amur. The destroyers are small, fast ships which are produced to es uh, escort trade convoys and bigger ships. Although they aren't the pinnacle of warships and turn on tonnage and power, we cannot afford to ignore them. Hey, develop cruisers. We're not ready to construct big battleships, so it would be wise to focus on smaller ships such as cruisers. They are some of the key to the name of domination or worthy initial goal for a fleet. The Graham Fleet. Since the Russian fleet in the Russo-Japanese War, the Pacific Fleet became a living example of misery. As the legitimate government of Russia, it's our duty to destroy the former glory of a Pacific Fleet. And we could do this one, but eh. We can always build that stuff up manually. I prefer this one. Because it actually gives it a permanent benefit. But it was so Japanese naval treaty, because why not? As we come closer to Japan, even though we're not, they were willing to sign a treaty with us, which would allow us to coordinate with the Japanese scientists to develop national doctrines. Naval doctrines. However, we'd probably anger people who hate the Japanese imperialists. But we're just going to use them! That's right, we're just going to use the Japanese if we possibly can. Actually, why are you doing so poorly? Why are we doing so well? Uh, let's see all backwards industry, which is good to see, even though they're improving. Wow, there's a lot of political power gain. And they're national populace, even though there's a lot of social and market liberals. It's a very liberal Russia, for Russian state. That's fine, doesn't really help us. Okrana doesn't really help us either. Uh, intelligence corruption eradicated, wow. A uh, new Russia, which I don't believe corruption would ever be eradicated in a 7 cop Russia, probably, but whatever. They have combat squads. Um, Verkovny. Ekonomishki or Soviet. National planning school, which is tough for us, which is worse for us. But not that bad for us. They have a, oh, they have a Siberian war. Wait, why is it so bad then? Wow, that really sucks. No wonder we're doing pretty decently so far. They get less speed, they get 30% less divisional organization, which is really tough. Crap ton more attrition. Non-combat out of penalties, su or supply penalties, which is very bad for them. Way less defense. Oh my god. AI modifier call an ally desire. Now, the devs have really thought about this, haven't they? And defense bonus against the country. Negative 20%. Jesus. And that's not even that's not even temporary. That's permanent. And divided military staff, huh? All right, then. I mean, they got plenty of manpower. You know, they are... The, you know, European Russia, so. Uh, but we got political power. I don't mind doing this. We don't get more war support, but I don't want to get more totalism, I guess. Um, destroyers of Mer is pretty nice. Um, commandeer stuff, we're okay. Or name Petrograd and all that stuff soon enough. Without them cruisers. I hope we continue pushing through here. Because if now, we're going to be in a world of hurt. And we don't want to be hurt. God knows I don't want to be hurt. Develop transmitter fighters. Fighters are the main type of aircraft we should use. We can't dominate the skies without them. Strengthen cast units. Well, as we now have air superiority, we can now storm the ground with the cast fighters are also valuable to us. Skies are ours, and cast storm the ground, we can now produce aircraft able to obliterate enemies with high explosives. Modernize headquarters. Even with the modern aircraft, we still have a need of a proper military staff to command them. We should intensively train some new officers. A lot of stock paratroopers. Airborne paratroopers are a new type of infantry. Not as numerous as standard infantry, but these units can use aircraft to infiltrate enemy lines. That would be pretty nice to do. A good ships, huh? Siberia has certainly the, the room for new landing ships and airfields. We could be fools not to take advantage of that fact. 35 day focus for two air bases, my god. Develop Novosibirsk airfields. Our air force is uh, desperately in need of new launching new grounds, and so it's reason we should invest in Novosibirsk. Sounds like a squell. Oh, well idea. Oh, wait, no, I'll leave this down too. And we're going to go west. Deliver the whole of Siberia, a new Russia. We want that too. The time war is coming to an end. Now it's time for peace. Stronger Russia to rise. No more traitors, no more Bolsheviks, no more Japanese imperialists. We are Russia now. Oh, oh wow, we just made an encirclement. This is going so well. Why is it going so well? They lost 46,000, we lost 22,000. They lost 120,000. Serbia is considered a major power. Wow, look at that. And the Valkyrie is not kicked off yet, which is interesting. Alright, then whatever. Um, also, oh, maybe that's why. Do we core all this stuff? No, it's only. Because we, we could core this stuff once we have enough compliance, but we don't have enough compliance yet. So. Support down Japanese rally. Alright. I'm fine with that. Anything here? This cavalry is not bad. I, don't, I really want motorized, truth be told. But I guess this guy, Simeonov. He's pretty decent. Kazakh leader, cavalry defense, attack speed. Cavalry expert, more defense, which is not bad. I like Blitz and Circling Strategies, though. We'll do that one, why not? We might just switch him over eventually, too, so. We're doing really well with this. Probably maybe a bit too well. I do want to see how far we can go without being told to, you know, back off. You know, these guys are still fighting Mongolia themselves. And now Siberia is, of course, ours. The Siberian army of Gorlis marched to the Taiga and Swamps, reaching Yekaterinburg in the Ural Mountains. It seems that victory is close to us, so we can be sure that we will achieve it very soon. The citizens of liberated Siberian cities have met 
Met with trepidation of the great soldiers of the Siberian army, who once again, as in 1918, have marched through their cities. Huh, Siberia is my, my home Siberia, we'll stand up for you. Cool! 81%, but I'll be I'll honest, I use Khan's commands. I'm, I'm so tired of this. It's 1940. It's just so laggy. It's so slow. Oh my god, I just wish it would end. Uh, and we ran out of focuses to do, like resistance All right, suppression. Everyone. So we have finished the war. The people's stardom, Sons of Murder has done very, very well. The Reich's back. Uh, there's a Roman alliance. Roman alliance. Romania, Northern Italy, and Poland too. But yeah, basically, I got tired of the war. Uh, that's basically how it usually ends up in Kaiser Redux. I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm going. I'll just kind of sit here and do something else while I'm just grinding here. But uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, let me know in the comments below. Should we move uh, our provincial capital to Kutsk or Novosibirsk? Or should we make Moscow or uh, Petrograd the real capital here? So, um, that being said, face Central Asia. Uh, we're going to reintegrate Central Asia. If you're going to read that, please go ahead. So, I don't mind sacrificing that. But, we're doing a good trip. So we got all of these ones to do. If you're going to read these, please go ahead. I don't know if I read the Revive of the Trans-Siberian Railway, though. We now possess a very large part of the Trans-Siberian Railway. The railway itself is in very poor condition, but if we invest our efforts in a rebuild and improve it, our supply lines will be greatly improved. So, off-screen, we're going to go and do a lot of this stuff, too, because we have to, and the Siberian scientists, so that we can do a new Russia. Um, so, this will be aftermath of the war, which is very, very bad. Oh, my good lord. So, then we, have, we can do that, so that we can get to the next part of the focus tree. Um, I think it's industrializing Russia. Yeah, we need to do that focus to get to industrializing Russia. And then figure out what we want to do. And reclaim our lands, of course, too. So, um, I guess we can read about this one. With all of Russia under rule, we can work on recovering the terrible, from the terrible civil war. We clear territories we may have to go to war acquire. Reclaim our lands. Now that we're Russia, we must collect our former lands from the tyrants that rule in Central Europe. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, I don't like, you know, doing stuff. Integrate the people's Republic of Turkestan. Oh. Average compliance of the people's Republic of Turkestan? Doesn't matter. Let's try to court anyways. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the campaign so far. Thanks, uh, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as the Reds and Pacific States are killing each other in America. Thanks for watching. Have a great Mladorosi Rostov, your day.